I just do it. Um, usually when I'm stuck in traffic, <laughs> I do it in my phone. ATM B size game. Yeah. Ooh. Very pog. It's very big. It's such a balloon. Wait. <laughs> after <laughs> after crying, we we start gooning. Truly a Mickey experience. <laughs> Bigger than the mini game. I don't think that's a mini game anymore. <laughs> Dekai, yeah, I know. Dekai. Very big indeed. Who should we read first? Sinli first? I actually click click on this so I can get the um that the title Cinderella's Prince. So I haven't seen this yet. You get this skin too. It's because she looks amazing in it and she's not corrupted, right? Okay. Resurgence of memory. Oh my. Oh my god, the title, man. What is this? Nostalgic dish. Nostalgic recipe. Nostalgic scent. New memories to write. Um I hope it's not going to be emotional damage. <laughs> My eyes are already um puffy, I think. More like gift from yeah, thank you, Mori, for the the skin. <laughs> Didn't have to spend a, a a USD on that one. You realize she will win popularity contest anyway, but with a the story they deserve the money. Yeah, they do. They do. Amazing writing as always, man. Okay, let's go. Prince? Something is weighing on my mind. What is it? It's something I've been thinking about for a long time. Grave has done so much for me. Our relationship almost feels unbalanced in a way. Can that really be called beautiful? Feels unbalanced, but she's your mom. She likes doing things for you. I want to do something for Grave as well. That's so sweet. But I can't think of anything. Oh, Neon. I think seeing you awake is more than enough to make her happy. Yeah, I'm sure she's over the moon just to see you up and about. Well... I am her magnum opus, after all. It would stand to reason that my existence in itself would be enough to fill grave with pride. That's so obvious. I should hardly have to point it out. Oh. But that's not enough. It's not nearly enough to repay her for all she's done for me. Grave has dedicated her entire life to me. So I want to do something special for her. <laughs> How about a nice heartfelt gesture? Something heartfelt? Like what? Like I say, helping her tend to her weapons or repairing some of the medical equipment. I don't want to go around touching Graves' things without permission. Besides, she's far more knowledgeable than I when it comes to the thing from that kind of stuff. True. How about helping her recharge her firepower? This stupid... <laughs> okay, okay. Get home safe, Mori. <laughs> she's gotten a new body, hasn't she? You can help her boost her offensive capabilities. Kick her firepower up to the next level, bro. Impossible. Oh, all right. Brave and I have distinctly different abilities. 
I don't see myself being able to enhance her firepower in any meaningful way. The only thing I could do is get her accustomed to her newfound strength. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why is this commander? How about making a special mirror just for her? <laughs> How about helping her in her beauty routine? I like the second. I like the second one. How about helping her with her beauty routine? I'm already doing that. Eh? <laughs> I'm far from satisfied, but I am doing my best to beautify her as much as possible. So, I'm afraid that's not a viable option. I see. Man, this is tough. How about making her favorite dish? Surely that's not too much to ask. Cook for her? Hmm. Wait, have Cinderella cooked before? I don't think she did. Ooh, have day tomorrow. Yeah, ta. Sometimes, or should I say all the times you forget me and is in the counters group. Exactly. <laughs> sometimes, you know, she just pisses us off. No, sometimes. No, most of the time. Never mind. Forget it. If you're not into it, we can think of something else. No. I think it's a fine idea. You do? I think it's a good idea too. Really? Grave always gives me so much. So it would be nice if I returned the favor. I think cooking something up for her is worth a shot. Let her cook, yeah, let her cook. <laughs> Have you cooked before? No. You haven't? Not even once? You're going to try and cook without any experience? Oh god, is this going to turn into an Emma kind of scenario? <laughs> Imagine this was boys, I hope so. <laughs> Gotta start somewhere, so true. Yeah, I hope they voice bond stories, man. Otherwise, you need to bear with my voice instead. <laughs> I've read about the basics. That's different from actually being in the kitchen. It will be fine. Everything will turn out beautifully. I'm starting to get worried. Same, same. I'm getting worried. Have you decided what you're going to cook? Not yet, no. I'm not sure whether Grave's favorite food has changed. People stays usually don't change that drastically, do they? You keep liking what you like. I agree. I doubt that her culinary preferences have changed all that much. Exactly. For example, even though she's lost her memory, she's still fond of you. Do you think so? I agree with everyone else. Just because Grave has amnesia doesn't mean that she's fundamentally changed. Alright then. I'll make a dish that will evoke past memories. Come again? I want to make a dish that has a sense of nostalgia to it. And what would that be? Soup. That's it? <laughs> I'm so glad this is lighthearted. We needed something light. <laughs> With or without tears. Okay, okay. I, I, I like I'm liking this. It's so lighthearted. Nothing too heavy for now. Grave may not remember this anymore. But back when he, she was conducting her research, she often made something simple in lieu of a proper meal. That way, she could stay in the lab and keep at her work. She'd also make it for me whenever I visited. Even after all this time, I still remember how that soup made me feel. Whenever I think of it, all these wonderful memories come rushing back. So, I want to make it for her. Well, it doesn't get much easier than soup, so I'm sure you even a no I'm sure even a novice like you could handle it. Plus, 
it's not so much meaning... It's got so much meaning behind it. As for the ingredients, I think onions, potatoes, and some soup powder could uh, should do the trick. Onion potatoes sounds simple enough. Speaking of soup, what soup you like, guys? Um, I I'm not sure if people are familiar with um sinigang. <laughs> <laughs> the Filipino dish, sinigang. Yes, yes. I like sinigang soup. If not sinigang, it's tinola. <laughs> to those who are not Filipino, you, uh, you guys are probably not familiar with those. But those are very delicious um, uh, Filipino soups. <laughs> yeah, but if you want... um, I, I like something simple like... Sinigang. Sinigang, you know. <laughs> it's sinigang, sinigang. But if someone who is familiar... Oh, you are familiar with Korean food, right, more Um, um what was... What is it called? Uh, galbitang. <laughs> I like that one also. It's simple and very, very delicious. Nilaga. Yeah, Nilaga also. It's somehow similar to Galbitang, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Sinampalukan. I like that one also. But that one, it depends on, on, on one's food. I mean, one's mood, I mean. <laughs> The sour sourness is pleasant. I I like the sourness of Sinigang. <laughs> You're over here with cream of broccoli. That sounds delicious. Sometimes also I make cream of mushroom, which is also um delicious. Damn, we're talking about soup <laughs> because because of uh, Cinderella. Anyway. Her soup sounds sad, but I guess that's fine. If creamy soup, yeah, creamy, yeah, I like creamy soup. But that depends on the mood, I guess. <laughs> uh, cause Cinderella said she would make onions, potatoes, and some soup powder. That's kinda sad. There's no meat in it. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Those sound like ingredients you have to procure from up on the surface. Yes, and ingredients from the surface are at a premium here in the Ark. Instead, most food is processed from splendamine. Splendamine, yuck. <laughs> oh, I like that one. Sadness of soup with a touch of depression. Very appropriate for Nikkei's story. <laughs> Splendamin? Have you ever tried it? No. What is it? Have you ever... Have you never even heard of it? Girl, Splendamin doesn't exist, exist back then. <laughs> no, this is the first time anyone has mentioned it. Wow, I guess Splendamin didn't exist back in the prehistoric era. Girl, you're making it sound like she's old. <laughs> she doesn't like that. Must you call it that? I'd rather you refer to it as the legendary era. Oh, I guess Splendamin didn't exist back in the legendary era? <laughs> I suppose not. I've never seen or heard of it at least. That can't be right. Most of the ra most of the rations you've been eating here are made of splendamin. <laughs> she's a century old, so to Neon, she's ancient. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> but she's hurting her feelings. <laughs> I should add a pinch of insanity in a smidgen of madness. I like I like that kind of soup. Keep cooking, um, FJ. Wait, they've been eating Splendamin, but Cinderella didn't know? Most of the rations you've been eating here are made of Splendamin. Hmm? I see. I thought my taste buds had been affected due to my slumber. I guess not. It's simply that Splendamin is revolting. <laughs> hey! 
it's not so bad, girl. Clearly, these newer, newer Nikkei's haven't experienced the delicacy of naturally um, prepared food. <laughs> they don't know better food. Oh, I pitied them, man. <laughs> How much more emotional damage, I should add. Everything that you have. <laughs> I forgot Anis loves Splendament. Yeah, she does. Even in her interaction in the Bun story. Yeah, I think it's delicious. This Splendament is a universal substitute meant to feed, feed humanity, yes? That's right. Humans began to consume Splendament after migrating to the Ark. Occasionally, you can find real fruits and vegetables on Royal Road, but they are exceedingly rare. Not to mention prohibitively expensive. I see. Real food no longer exists, and in its place is this substitute. The world really has changed. Why don't you try using the rations you've been issued? The taste may not be exactly what you expect, but... But soup is still soup. <laughs> what? <laughs> but it's going to be a gross soup. <laughs> A potato costs more than a PC in the Ark. Oh my god, you're right. It's because it came from the surface. Don't they have farms in the Ark? But I guess they cannot have farms because water resource is also scarce in there. Man. <laughs> soup is soup. Yeah, our neon is so bright, FJ. Right, let's try making something. Very well. Let's give it a shot. Soon after... There, all done. Cinderella places a bowl of soup on the table. <laughs> Inside the bowl, the soup appears to have an unnaturally gleam to it. Oh god, it's similar to Emma. Oh, good luck, guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with everyone? Don't just stare at it. Dig in. I know it's my first time making it, but I'm positive that it's going to be fantastic. This recipe can't be beat, and I followed it to the ladder. I'm worried. The color is fine, but it's so shiny. <laughs> Girl made it into a mirror, bro. <laughs> it's a bit concerning. That it is. Hmm? What are you talking about? You said yourself that the color is flawless. And yet you're standing here worrying about how I'm not a good cook. It's your first time cooking anything. How could we not be worried? What is going on with this sheen? I'm not sure. Perhaps it's because everything I touch is beautiful. And such things tend to sparkle. <laughs> I cannot with Cinderella. What are you babbling about? Sparkling soup isn't beautiful in any context. It's just freaky. <laughs> Like the cake that Grave made for seven, second anniversary. Exactly. <laughs> it's not good for human consumption. What do you think, Prince? Um. <laughs> Should we be honest? But I don't want to hurt her feelings. I guess it's time to die. <laughs> uh, it's fine. You say that, but I can see the hesitation in your eyes. I'm hurt that you don't have faith in me, Prince. It's not that. I'll try it. No, Commander. I'll try it first. Salute to Rappi. Thank you for taking the first shot at the soup. <laughs> Rappi. Are you sure about this? <laughs> Rappy! Phew. Summoning her courage, Rappy lifts up her spoon. Oh god. And swallows a spoonful of the soup. Hmm? 
死了。Are you okay? Hmm. It's cloyingly sweet. That can't be. I followed the recipe perfectly, and there's nothing wrong with the recipe. Cinderella takes a sip of the soup. Hmm. What do you think? This, this isn't right. Maybe it's because I had to use Splendamin. Hey, don't this. <laughs> hey, don't this Splendamin. You're just a lousy cook. <laughs> I have to practice more. Prince, can you help me? What What should I help you with? Oh, God. Oh, Commander, I, I pity your taste buds and stomach. Good luck. Not much. All he needs to do is sample the food in Graves' place. Every time you cook? That's right. That's the only way I'll be able to improve. Why can't we all take turns taste testing? <laughs> oh, oh, right. I, I just remember that I have some errands to run. I can't put it off either. Sorry. Oh, wasn't there something I needed to do as well? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I nearly forgot. I need you to come with me as well. Yeah, and it'll take us a while to complete. Yeah, totally. So unfortunate. unfortunate. We won't be able to test any of the dishes. <laughs> Naturally. It's a real shame, but what can you do? <laughs> they never left anyone behind. Yeah, such true friends indeed. What exactly is this errand you're talking about? Oh, you know, something... Isn't that right, Rafi? <laughs> You've got your hands full as well, don't you? I... yes. <laughs> Even Rafi, oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe this. I thought Rafi would be on our side. <laughs> oh my goodness. I... Need to finish writing a, a report. Not you too, Rappy! <laughs> I'm sorry, Commander. Fine. Looks like it'll be just me. Is that okay? As long as you're here, Prince, that's enough. Well, shall we? Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Everyone left us. They are such true friends. <laughs> oh no, I don't like the the burber 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 and <laughs> even the most patient beings lose patience. Exactly, and no matter how loyal they are, there are some. Uh, there are chances that sometimes they will betray you. <laughs> uh oh. Hmm, since it was too sweet before, this time I'll add some salt. Uh oh. Oh god, how salty is it? Cinderella dumps a staggering amount of salt in the soup. Girl, we're gonna have um kidney stones. <laughs> Don't cry into the soup, no! <laughs> Are you sure that's not too much? Huh? Do you think so? Try it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, good luck to you, T.I. Yeah, good luck, guys. <laughs> hmm? It's way too salty. Told you. You're right. You're right. I should have used less. But how much? Does the recipe tell you how much to put? No. All it says is add salt to taste. <laughs> Girl, add salt to taste. That's, you know, maybe a pinch. <laughs> Why do I feel she doesn't know? Measurements for ingredients. Um, It's the recipe's fault, I guess. It doesn't specify an exact amount? Nope. Are you sure your memory of this soup being delicious is correct? Of course. 
Grave is a genius. Wait, I doubt Grave is very good at cooking either. Oh no. I think there's something messed up with this recipe. <laughs> I hate it when it says to taste. It's so fucking vague, exactly. For me, maybe I'll add a pinch of salt. That's it. <laughs> Conducting razor research, whipping up winning dishes. There's nothing she can't do. Since it was her making it was her making it, of course it was delicious. I guess we'll have to figure out the proper amount by instinct. I suppose so. I'll have to keep experimenting with different ratios. Alright, we can work together on it. Thus began the search for the perfect amount of seasoning. Oh god. Oh god. How many soup? Oh. Oh, um, uh, stay safe going home, Mori. <laughs> it's either the mess up recipe or their taste buds. I, I, I'm not sure about Cinderella's taste buds because she's been asleep for quite some time. 13 degrees, man. It's so hot in here. It's 29. <laughs> or both. Oh, wow. We are fucked. This time, I use less salt and a bit more sugar. Try it, Prince. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> First, Cinderella attempted to use different seasonings. Why sugar? I don't know. And salt. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there are some dishes where there's a combination of sugar and salt, right? It's okay. But, I don't know. Hers sounds nasty. <laughs> I added some new seasoning this time around. But not that ratio exactly. What's What new se seasoning? They You know, they need MSG in this place. Not sure, but it said it had a strong flavor. I figured if I can find a balance between the sweetness and the saltiness, then perhaps some big and bold flavors could even things out. I am not so sure about that logic. <laughs> Just try it. Oh god. Hmm? The newly introduced mystery flavor is both overpowering and baffling. Wait, in what way? <laughs> How is it? I think you should ditch the new seasoning. <laughs> Alright. Cinderella decided to add some additional seasoning in smaller amounts. I think the commander is about to get sick real soon. I eased up on the seasoning this time. Alright. It's not fair to keep making you taste it first. So I'll do the honors. Thanks. How is it? Hmm. No good? I don't think so. <laughs> After several failed attempts. Girl, it's just a soup. <laughs> What's so difficult about it? <laughs> the funny thing is that it already has sweet, but they dumped a lot of salt in, so now they're just backtracking to sweet. I know. And then they added a new flavoring. Yeah, they should restart, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Prince. It's inedible, isn't it? No, it's bearable. You don't look well. It's okay, you don't need to try anymore. I'll take it from here. I'm fine, honestly. It tastes better than it did before. Oh, I think the commander's taste buds is... Um, is something wrong is going on. <laughs> Just culinary science. Yeah, and I think if you just boil some, if they have some meat or bones, they could just boil it and add some onions and that will be soup. <laughs> onions and, and, and some salt. I'm glad to hear that, but 
Why don't we both try it? Sure. Cinderella and I each sample a spoonful of the soup. Hmm? The texture is silky smooth and there is a delicate balance of salty and sweet. Finally! I think it's pretty good. Yeah? Cinderella takes another spoonful. It's good. But something is missing. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Like what? It smells different from how I remember it. Maybe we forgot a certain spice? Spice? Hmm? You're right. There's a key aromatic missing. How did you forget about that? Have you got something specific in mind? Her herbs. We need to add herbs. What kind of herbs? I'll know it when I see it. Oh no! Um, oh no, she'll know it once she sees it. She We're gonna try different types of herbs. Oh god, I hope it's not poisonous. <laughs> I distinctly recall Graves saying how adding the right herbs could save what would otherwise be a subpar soup. <laughs> a handful of grass, man. That's going to taste nasty. <laughs> Get some animal bones to make the broth first, exactly. Then add a reasonable amount of seasoning and then add the meat and veggies, exactly. <laughs> they're making soup out of nowhere. I, I think they're just making soup out of salt, sugar, water, and um, spices. <laughs> but is there anywhere we could find such a thing? I'll ask someone who might know. Who? Wait a minute. I turned on my comm link. Shifty, do you have a minute? Commander? What is it? Do you know if there is anywhere near Reclamation Site 01 where we can find herbs? Herbs? What makes you bring up herbs all of a sudden? Allow me to explain. Cinderella tells Shifty about the soup and why we need the herbs. Or Splend- I think Splendamon would taste horrible for this soup. I see. You want to give Grave a gift. I'm pretty sure I recently saw a report on local natural resources. Wait a minute. Sure. Sure. We'll give you a minute as long as we get the proper herbs. Soon after. Found it. There is a report of someone finding a small patch of fragrant plants behind the residential area near Reclamation Site 01. Botanic Garden hasn't yet confirmed which specific herbs they are, but they may well be what you're looking for. Um, wow, um... What's the description again? Fragrant plants. Maybe it's flowers, girl. What the co- I exactly- <laughs> We cannot eat any flower, okay? That's more than enough to go on. Thank you for looking into it for us. Thanks. Oh, wait, this is the Thanks, Shifty. <laughs> no problem. Let me know if you need anything else. <clears throat> yeah, technically there are edible flowers, but not everything is edible. <laughs> I'm heading to that field. Will you come with me, Prince? Sure thing. Time to die. <laughs> I'm a nostalgic scent. Wait, let me drink some water. <clears throat> this is bad for Cheatery's throat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she said it's near here. Hmm. Cinderella glances around the field. <clears throat> hmm? Is that it? Cinderella jerks forward as if something is exerting a, ma a magnetic pull on her. Prince, I found it. I think this is it. Cinderella points at the grass. Are you sure? Let me know how it smells. Cinderella plucks a blade of grass and brings it to her nostrils. Grass? 
that's it. This is the herb. The shape, the scent. It's just like what we used to grow in the lab. I can't believe we found it here of all places. That's great. Let's take some and head back. Hmm. Cinderella. Oh, sorry. <laughs> to be able to touch grass at home. Yeah, they made it possible because Grave is just too busy. <clears throat> oh, sorry. The smell brought me back. That's all. Back when Grave was still a researcher. Can you tell me more? Of course. What wonderful days those were. Oh, backstory. Why the change in music? <laughs> I uh, <clears throat> There's no emotional damage, right? Once a week, we would have a counseling session with Grave. She would see how we were doing mentally and physically. And monitor whether there, are, there were any changes in our skill level. We would talk about how we could improve going forward. This was usually done via a battery of tests. And we would discuss the results afterwards. If the tests went on for a long time and we missed dinner, Rave would cook soup for us. She'd ask me to eat up so that I stayed in good health. Meanwhile, she'd take only the tiniest helpings for herself and head straight back to her desk, working without a break. I would sit in the back of the lab and drink the soup Grave had made for us, staring at her back as she worked. I can still remember how beautiful she looked, so immersed in her research. I couldn't take my eyes off her. I often thought about how it was her stunning passion that allowed her to create us. Sometimes I'd get lost in her. And Siren would come looking for me because I hadn't returned to the dorm. I'd ask her to sit down next to me and I'd share the soup with her. Before long, Hansel and Gretel would come sniffing around and ask for some as well. Inevitably, we'd end up getting too rowdy. And Grave would turn around to admonish us. She'd parade me for giving away the soup to the others while she'd made it for me. Ah! <laughs> But I think she's enjoying um, the view of her creations. Yeah, so that's where I can see Hansel after the event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Cinderella's um, Bond story. Then she'd go right ahead and make some more for everyone else. Grumbling all the while about how we were burning through supplies too quickly. <laughs> Those were such good times. Will those days ever return? Will a day ever come when I can see them all again? When we can be together safe and sound? Oh, I hope so. Yes, and it will come soon. I hope so. Can I do it? You can do it. Even if... Even if they no longer have memories of the time, like Grave... Damn. They might look and act different than they did before. Will we really be able to live together peacefully despite that? When you're back together again, the first thing you can do is make them some soup. Even if they're, they've lost their memories, they haven't lost the emotions deep inside their hearts. That is so smooth, Commander. Welcome back, Mori. You... You think so? If the memories of the past no longer remain, then you can go ahead and forge new memories with them. New memories? You can create joyous new memories just like the ones you hold so dear. Yes, just like Grave did everything to rewrite our story. Precisely. 
Hmm. Actually, while I was working on this soup, I was worried that it might not amount to anything since Grave has forgotten those old memories. But you're right, Prince. I need to do it. Since I am the only one who remembers those times, I have to be strong. If the emotions behind those memories still reside in their hearts, it's up to me to bring them back. If the memories are well and truly gone, then I need to try to create new ones. Since our story is not finished yet, Grave never gave up on me for all those years. So true. And now, it's my turn to try and revive those memories for everyone. Yes, I know what I have to do. Even if they've forgotten our past, even if those memories are long gone, I will make it so they can experience those moments again. I will make the soup and make them remember. I'm with you all the way. Thank you for encouraging me, Prince. What do you say we get back to it? Yeah, let's go. We'll craft the beautiful soup from the past and recapture the feelings of that time once again. Aww. I like how lighthearted this is. <laughs> Cinderella is like crown in terms of responsibility. It's because... Um, she really... It seems like she's the only one who can fully remember everything. We're not sure about Siren, Hansel, and Gretel. But maybe, I don't know. Do you think we'll get playable Siren, Hansel, and Gretel in the future? I hope we do. Wait, I need to drink water. <clears throat> A few days later. How is it? Hmm. It says perfect. Glad to hear it. Would you like to try it? I try a spoonful of the soup. Hmm. After an initial wave of smooth richness passes over my taste buds, an, ar an aromatic fragrance lingers in my nostrils. A comforting warmth spread throughout my body. <laughs> I think we should see it's beautiful. She'll like it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Brilliant. This should do it. I'll get it ready to serve. Could you ask Grave to come over? <laughs> sure. You DM something? <laughs> it is cute, but it's cringe. And it's red shoes, so... Mm. Oh, hi, Grave! Cinderella is looking for me. Yes, she says she needs you. That's strange. Cinderella usually calls if she needs me. Hmm? Has something bad happened to her? A girl, no, no. Calm down, mom. She's okay. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Is she in some kind of danger? Is that why she's unable to fetch me herself? No, not a... There's no time to waste. We have to hurry. Cinderella is in danger. I just told you she's not in danger. Girl, don't worry, Cinderella. I'm coming. <laughs> Girl, she's okay. You need to calm your tits. Grave sprints towards Cinderella's room. Grave. <laughs> I run after her. Cinderella. What happened? She's just cooking, come on. <laughs> hmm? What's this? There you are. 
Thank you for bringing her over, Prince. No problem. <laughs> huh? Bring me here? Nice to see you, Grave. I sent Prince to fetch you because I wanted to give you a present. A present for me? Yes, I sometimes feel like all I do is take from you. So I figured it's high time I give you something in return. Could you come over here, please? Oh, okay. Making ramen. Please send some ramen. Thank you. <laughs> Cinderella grabs Grave's hand and leads her to a chair. Do I just sit here? Yes, have a seat and wait just a moment. Cinderella places a bowl of soup in front of Grave. This is... It's soup. I can see that, but what possessed you to? I made it myself as a gift to you. You made this? I certainly did. Eat up before it gets cold. Okay. Grave takes a sip of the soup. Hmm? How is it? Wait, didn't Grave say that her t a sense of taste isn't that great anymore? Oh, at least, oh, she was able to taste it. It's delicious. Really? Really? So you like it? I love it. It, that taste is... Beautiful. Damn, I like seeing Grave smile. Cinderella? You okay? Yes, you're right. It's a beautiful dish. It was a special meal I shared with the people very close to me. That was a long time ago. In the times when I felt I was losing my senses, it was a constant source of comfort. Cinderella looks into Grave's eyes. This dish means the world to me. Cinderella. That's why I wanted to make it for you. You've helped me write a new story, and so I wanted to give you a gift in thanks. Is... Is this something I made for you in the past? Yes, it's something you used to make for me. Although the ingredients are a bit different, I tried to replicate it as closely as I could. I see. Hmm. Why are you making that expression? Do you not like it? No. I love it. It's just... I'm sorry, but I don't remember this soup. No matter how much of it I eat, I don't think I'll bring back any of those memories. I can't share that experience with you, and for that, I'm sorry. What about right here, right now? What do you mean? When you eat this soup now, what does it make you feel? I... Grave looks at the soup. It makes me feel warm. It makes my heart full. Damn. At least in it not um her feelings in her heart. She remembers, I think. I feel like I'm about to cry and I'm not entirely sure why. Then, that's enough. If this soup brings you that much comfort, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if you can't remember the past. I made this soup for you, in the here and now. For the current you, who never gave up on me and never stopped fighting, even when you were all alone. Oh, 
All I wanted... All I wanted was to make you feel a small sense of comfort. A sense of warmth. Hmm? Cinderella. You don't have to feel sorry about anything. Just enjoy it. That's enough for me. Very well. Hmm. Thank you, Cinderella. No, I'm the one who should be thankful. Grave quietly continues to eat the soup. It's delicious. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Prince? Yes? Why are you standing over there all by yourself? Come over here. I thought it'd be better for you two to have some alone time. I Wow, that's so sweet of the commander. <laughs> well, you're wrong. We're going to create new memories today. And I want the first one to be with you as well. Oh! <laughs> Grave isn't the only one I'm grateful for. You're included in that list too. Still... Come here. Let's eat together. I have a lot to be thankful for when it comes to you as well. If we're gonna be for forging new memories, then I want you included from the start. I don't know what to say. Since Grave and I are in an agreement, don't you say don't say anything. Instead, Come and eat with us. Alright, I will. You can sit on this side. Cinderella places a bowl of soup in front of me. Enjoy! Thank you. I have a sip of Cinderella soup, which is full of nostalgia and bygone memories. <laughs> Wait, my my mind is in the gutter. Yeah, we, we've gotten a sip of Cinderella soup. Understandable. <laughs> it's wholesome cheatery. Why is your mind like this? <laughs> Calm down. How is it? I like the second one. The taste is beyond beautiful. It's unforgettable. You're right. <laughs> You're fine. You're not the only one. I'm glad we are on the same wavelength. <laughs> Wholesomeness after that cruel epilogue. Finally, finally. <laughs> Create new memories. You know, <laughs> memories with the commander. May it be wholesome or not wholesome. We'll welcome it. <laughs> okay. You're right. I don't think I'll ever forget today. This moment. Hmm? It's the same for me as well. I won't ever forget this day, nor how wonderful it made me feel. I will never forget this newly written memory. The next time there comes a day when I'm feeling nostalgic and want to feel that old sense of warmth again. Will you both join me and have a nice meal together? And join me down memory lane? Of course. Of course! Anything for you! I absolutely will. Aww, Cinderella smiles brightly. Thank you so much. It's so good, it's so wholesome. I like how, you know, it's lighthearted. And I think the right title for this is really nostalgia. Very, very appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Nikkei community. What is Oyakodon? Is that food? <laughs> it reminds me of Okonomiyaki. Okay, we'll read through graves. <laughs> oh, you're right. It's supposed to be family. <laughs> <laughs> 